Hi, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you how to add a virtual activity to your CS2N group. Now, first step is to have your CS2N group. And once you're inside of your group, you can come up to this Manage Virtual button. And this will take you to the page that will show you all the available virtual activities you can choose from. Uh, to add a virtual activity to your group, you do need virtual robot access keys. And each of these keys do allow one student to access the curriculum. So in this case, I currently have zero keys, so I can click on this blue button. And this will take me to the Carnegie Mellon University bookstore, which will allow me to purchase keys by single licenses or packs of 12. And when you go to purchase a key, when you click add to cart, you'll get this pop-up that'll ask for your CSN username and email address. And this allows us to add the keys to your CSN account. Now, once the keys are added to your account, which takes between one to two days, uh, you will see the number increase here. And now that I have virtual robot access keys, I can add to my group. In this case, I have five students in my group. So I'm gonna add five seats to this activity. And once I do that, I can see that there are five keys tied to this activity. And if I go back to my group, I can see that the virtual activity has been added to my group. Uh, now for these keys, we can see that I have this nice icon that shows me I have five keys to assign. In this case, I'm just gonna go through and assign it to my students in my group. As we can see, as I assign my students these activities, the number of available keys I have does go down. And we can check on the side that once they have that same pink key icon, they can now see this activity from their group view. The number of keys here is adjustable. So maybe if this student is no longer in this class or something, and then I have this extra key, I can always go back to manage virtual. And then I can always add or remove keys if I, if I need more keys for this class because more students came in or some left. What I can do is I can remove keys from this activity. And that remove key then goes back to your large box of all these virtual bot access keys. And this number here uh, goes across all of your groups. So this is how many keys you have tied to your account. And then you can allocate them on a per group basis. And you can always move those keys around as needed. So that's how to manage your virtual activities and add them to your group. 